Hi, Mark here from LoganFiles.com. Today we're going to be discussing Wolverine Weapon X number two. Wolverine Weapon X has two covers. Uh, they were a 50 50 uh, variant uh, and the regular issue. Here is the regular issue, and uh, the 50 50 variant is right here. Uh, both are pretty cool covers. Uh, before we get into that book, uh, I wanted to show you on the uh, previous book, Wolverine Weapon X number one, the Dynamic Forces uh, variant. There's something very peculiar I found about this book. Uh, remember, it was kind of lame. It was called Virgin Art. In fact, I got it right here. Virgin Art cover. And uh, if you look at this very carefully, um, it's exactly the same, except for this little logo right here. But I noticed one other thing, and I don't know if this is a mistake, or if there is some kind of a problem with this. But if you can see right in here, that is a staple. And there's not supposed to be a staple on this side of the book. That's the side that opens. The staples are supposed to be on this side of the book, which if you look, can't see very clearly, it is the pages. So what the heck happened with this? I don't really know. Um, maybe uh, someone from Dynamic Forces can uh, let us know. Um, so uh, really, if you hold it like a regular comic, it would be like this. So was this printed upside down and the pages the other way? Or was it intentionally made backwards? Um, I'm not going to open it up. Um, to see, um, I don't do that. I know it's not a big deal, but I don't open these things. Um, certificates inside, and um, so anyway, any questions or comments on that, just let me know. Uh, because uh, Weapon X number one sold out, they also made this second uh, print of it. Uh, really cool cover. Uh, Definitely uh, get it if you missed the uh, first issues of Weapon X number one. Wolverine Weapon X number two starts off. Uh, there's a whole group of people at the San Francisco Post, and uh, Miss Garner, who met up with Wolverine in the previous issue on the subway, uh, wants to do a story on Wolverine. Um, she's turned down by her staff, and also uh, one of the staff member tells her that uh, he covers the X-Men stories and not her, and that he's, uh, you know, getting in on his uh, stories. Miss Garner gets a phone call and uh, is told that uh, Wolverine is a very small part of the story that she's trying to uncover, and that, in fact, um, if she keeps doing things the way that she's doing them, she's probably going to get herself killed. But the real uh, story that she wants to look up is Blackguard and tells her to follow that. Wolverine shows up in Colombia. There he uh, goes to the uh, local bar, El Barcito, uh, which I assume means the little bar. There he um, buys drinks for everybody and causes everybody to be happy and all that good stuff. Uh, he's trying to draw attention to himself so that Blackguard will find him. And of course, uh, Blackguard takes notice that uh, basically uh, Wolverine has shown up in their uh, town. Uh, they decide to uh, go after him. So they send a uh, sniper and a spotter and uh, they watch him. He Wolverine leave the uh, bar uh, drunk, singing songs and stuff. And uh, But uh, they don't know Wolverine. Wolverine's just playing the act and uh, ends up uh, sneaking up on the guys. Tears down the tree that they were in. Uh, they both fall out of the tree. Wolverine stabs one of the guys but realizes that uh, they're healing through uh, nanobot technology. He ends up fighting with them back and forth, back and forth, cutting into them. Uh, he's able to handle these two very nicely. Um, he's using some of his uh, combat uh, strengths. Uh, I'm using trees and defensive uh, uh, maneuvers. And last but not least, uh, they unleash their claws and stab into Wolverine. So Wolverine's surprised that uh, these guys got everything that he has. Uh, but that's not a problem for him. He wants to see how far he can take this, and uh, he's not going to back off. He's ready to throw down with them. Wolverine realizes that these guys aren't jo no joke after scrapping with them for a while, but realizes that uh, he's got experience that's way better than theirs, and uh, he's going to take these guys out. But then all of a sudden, 
more and more and more of these guys start coming out of the bushes and start surrounding Wolverine. With Wolverine surrounded by 11 of these guys, uh, that's how many I counted, Wolverine realizes that he's definitely outmatched and he can't take them all on at once. Wolverine takes a swipe at one of them, uh, the person dodges it, and then Wolverine runs off into the forest and escapes. Uh, may look like he uh, took off and, uh, you know, um, got scared and ran away. Uh, that's the farthest thing from the truth because the next page you see Wolverine down the way, hiding behind a tree, claws out, ready to strike as two of the black guard come searching for him. Uh, what he wants to do, it looks like, is uh, get them a little bit split up and uh, on their own so that he can take them down one at one person at a time, uh, which is tactically awesome. So uh, good job to uh, Aaron for writing this in that way. Uh, definitely don't mind that. Uh, the art is fantastic. Um, I love this art. Uh, it, it's really good. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of. And uh, it's a very excellent story. If you're not collecting this book, you need to be. If there's any questions or any comments, go ahead and post those. I'll be happy to answer them. And like always, we'll see you next issue. <laughs>